Welcome to Transcend Awards. Prioritize infection awareness. Your learning objectives are to understand types of bacterial infection, to understand the cause of bacterial infection, and to understand the signs and symptoms of bacterial infections. Once you know these, you can take positive action to prevent bacterial infection or to mitigate the effects of an incident or outbreak. Infectious disease, infection pathogens. There are five main infectious agents, also known as pathogens, that invade the body and cause infectious disease in humans. These invaders are categorized as bacteria, viruses, fungi, prions, and parasites. In this digital learning experience, we will focus on bacterial infection, the causes, signs, symptoms, and treatment. Bacterial infections, bacteria defined. Bacteria are single microscopic biological cells that are able to reproduce and travel. Bacteria are very diverse and are tiny. They come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. Bacteria can be found in all sorts of environments, including soil, water, and in or on our bodies. Bacteria defined. Bacteria are tiny organisms that live inside or that invade our bodies. Bacterial strains can be positive or negative dependent upon the strain. Bacterial strains can sometimes have positive effects and can help us to fight harmful bacteria, maintain a healthy immune system, absorb nutrients, digest our food. Bacterial infection causes. Bacterial infections are caused by the transmission of different harmful bacteria. Bacterial strains which are harmful to humans are transmitted through external and internal sources. Bacteria that lives inside our bodies can evolve into infection through stress and poor health. We can also be exposed to harmful bacteria which then invades our bodies through infected sources such as other people, the environment, contaminated food and contaminated water. Bacterial infections are very common and their effects vary. There are a number of different types of bacteria that can cause illness. Harmful bacteria can exist at low levels in our body without causing harm or they can grow and cause serious infectious disease and even death. Bacterial infection scope. Bacterial infections are common and wide ranging. Some can easily be treated and others fatal. The following list is not exhaustive. Bacterial cellulitis, such as Staphylococcus aureus or MRSA. Bacterial food poisoning, often caused by E. coli, Salmonella or Shigella. Bacterial urinary tract infections or UTIs, often caused by coliform bacteria. Bacterial STIs, including gonorrhea, chlamydia, and syphilis. Bacterial meningitis, bacterial vaginosis, Clostridium difficile, pneumococcal pneumonia, whooping cough, food poisoning, tuberculosis, Lyme disease, cholera, botulism, tetanus, and anthrax. Bacterial infection timeframes. Bacteria that cause disease are called pathogenic bacteria, and they do so by producing poisonous substances called 
endotoxins and exotoxins. These substances are responsible for the symptoms that occur with bacteria-related diseases. The symptoms may range from mild to serious and some can be deadly. Different bacterial infections present symptoms at different speeds dependent upon strains. Symptoms may begin immediately. Symptoms may be delayed due to incubation period. Symptoms can progress slowly. Symptoms can worsen rapidly. Bacterial infection symptoms. Anyone can develop a bacterial infection and it will present in different areas of the body dependent upon the type of strain and associated disease. This includes on the skin, in the bladder, lungs, intestines, brain and more. Generalized symptoms. Bacterial infections can create generalized symptoms such as fevers, chills and fatigue anywhere in the body. Localized symptoms. Bacterial infections can create localized symptoms such as skin pain with a bacterial skin infection, breathing pain with a lung infection, abdominal pain with an intestinal infection, redness or swelling on visible parts of the body such as the skin, throat or ears are easily identifiable. Internal organs also become red and swollen and while this cannot be seen, pain may be felt in these areas. Bacterial infections often cause diminished or altered function of the infected regions of the body. Impaired concentration may present with meningitis, which is an infection surrounding the brain. Similarly, a productive cough with thick mucus may present with an infection in the respiratory tract. Bacterial infection treatment. Bacterial infections are most often treated with antibiotics. Antibiotics are medications that affect bacterial growth. They can either impede bacteria from multiplying or kill them outright. Antibiotics are not always effective as people can become resistant or there may not be an antibiotic available to treat the specific strain. If you or anyone in your care presents signs or symptoms of a bacterial infection, you should seek medical attention and initiate stringent hygiene measures. You may also need to reduce certain forms of contact dependent upon the symptoms presented. The best way to treat bacterial infection is prevention. Excellent hygiene and personal well-being are effective methods to prevent the spread of bacterial infection. Some bacterial infections have vaccines and for others you can receive an injection from the doctors before travelling to places at risk. These are highly recommended to prevent infection. Bacterial infection response. You must seek medical attention when you recognise signs of bacterial infection for yourself and for those in your care. The best way to do this is reduced contact with others to prevent any spread of infection and use protective measures when looking after someone else. Seek medical advice by calling 111 or dial 999 for emergencies. Take care to confirm all symptoms which will help you to receive the right response from healthcare professionals. Take care to give accurate information to help the healthcare team make a swift diagnosis and enable them to initiate contamination precautions where needed. Bacterial infection response. Be aware, those who have experienced a serious viral infection are more at risk of a secondary bacterial infection. Be ready, watch out for the bacterial infection signs even those who did not show symptoms but who contracted COVID-19 may be at risk. Be proactive. So many people have been affected by COVID-19 that you must be prepared to respond quickly and carefully 
to a secondary bacterial infection. Bacterial infection response. Do not delay. Respond rapidly. Save lives. Thank you for watching. Feel free to watch as many times as you need or move on to the next part of your digital learning experience on your list.